The forests around Cardwell look like most other open eucalypt and Malaluka woodlands in Australia. But if you look closer and explore amongst the canopy, you find that these particular forests support a unique animal. It lives nowhere else in the world. It comes out only at night and rarely comes to the ground. I'm Steve Van Dyke. I'm the senior curator of vertebrates at the Queensland Museum. Well, this is the cupboard where we keep precious, very precious things. And here we have some mahogany gliders. This one here is one of three very old specimens that were collected in 1886. And this was really the thing that sparked the, uh, the search for living mahogany gliders off. The fact that when we saw these things, we didn't know what they were, except to, to say that we had a couple of very old tags on them that said that this thing was found at a place called Mount Eku, E-C-H-U, by KB in 1886. We went up to Mount Echo and uh, climbed up every mountain west of Cardwell for four years and found nothing. <laughs> Until we came back here and um, found in another jar that was in alcohol. And it had a tag on it saying that it had been collected in 1974 by Greg Gordon, who was a friend of mine from Parks and Wildlife. And he was able to tell me exactly where he caught the thing, which was in the mosquito-ridden swamp. So a mate and I jumped on a, an expedition that was going up there looking for insects. And um, within about four nights, we finally saw one of these things, you know, scooting around the treetops. Couldn't believe our eyes that here, here was the same thing that we'd that been seen a hundred years ago it was suddenly materialised, and it was never given a common name. They were the most magnificent mahogany colour, not only on their back but on their tummy as well. And they lived in the, the swamp mahoganies around Cardwell, but mahogany seemed to um, there's a certain ring about that that's that's kind of warm and uh, and 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 furry and cuddly and soft, and I think that applied fairly well. Mahogany gliders are still listed as an endangered species, and this is due largely to loss of habitat. They only live in the very small area between Olera Creek, south of Ingham, and Hull River near Tully in North Queensland. They live roughly below 100 metres elevation, between the foothills and the ocean. After their rediscovery in 1989, the importance of these animals was realised For once, foxes and cats aren't the primary reason for their demise, it's been humans. We've knocked down habitat for uh, sugarcane and, and bananas and highways as well to make our travel easier has made it harder for gliders to get from one piece of habitat to the other. These tiny creatures are now involved in a battle for survival. A mahogany glider can cover around one and a half kilometres at night foraging for food. 50% of their habitat has now been cleared, leaving fragmented pockets of remnant vegetation. As they rarely come to the ground, and with an average glide of 30 metres, they need trees close enough together so they can travel across their home range. When Cyclone Yazi crossed the coast of Queensland in February 2011, it passed directly over their fragile habitat. I guess we really don't know. Um, what's happened to the population, it's reaffirmed the biggest issues we've got and that's connectivity and this fragmentation of habitat. We're just so fortunate to have this glider in our area for us to protect and enjoy. We, it's a nocturnal animal, but it's knowing it's there that is one of the important things. To ensure the mahogany glider's long-term survival, members of the National Mahogany Glider Recovery Team are working hard to restore glider habitat. Community groups, traditional owners, researchers, industry, government, non-government organisations and landholders are all working together to secure a future for this unique creature in the wet tropics environment.